Give me one second, I'm just gonna set stuff up. There we go. Thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. My heart can't stop the heart. Okay, I think we're good now. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just continue from where we were. Okay. Just waiting for stuff to load. Time to go, prisoner. Oh! The jacket. Rude! I picked right up, though. Either that or I just had a really good... First thing, we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh, hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. Yeah. How can they fix what they cannot understand? With the yeah! the fire's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a grand unifier? Grand no unifier, idea. Raker, leader of the Church of Universal something. something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone, looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. Uh -huh. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I. Mom explicitly. Oh, I don't even think I. Yeah, Quill. Mom. Oh shit. Here I go. Ah, fuck. I clicked it too soon. My bad. I panicked. <laughs> I clicked it too soon. Ooh. There we go. Man, this thing takes forever to load. I think it's just because I'm on the PS4. Okay. Not gonna do it again. There we go. I think it's yeah, a cutscene. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let me just see if I can. Hold on! I'm sorry. Sure? Come on. Get Ooh. Uh, uh, that gold, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <gasps> Woo! Okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? Triangle, 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 triangle! Doing great. 
<laughs> Good catch, kid. Thanks. Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right? Come on, we need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. Ah. We'll be safe there. Sorry, nose itched. Here, help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. one. Go, go. There we go. Okay. We need to keep moving. You wanna take this these that Nikki? handcuffs off of me? Whoa, That'd be easy. Er. Who goes fishing for God in a junkie? Oh man, this is bad. Yikes. Those doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Can I not go this way? Oh, come on. Just give me a sec. On, I'm gonna remove no, my handcuffs. We the door if we undo these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No. Yeah, please. You're my prisoner, and I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. I probably okay. should have asked about my jet boots. This way. Should we be going up? Back toward the others? Ooh, what's this? What do we get? Advanced components. Oh, okay. Okay, well, just took off. Ooh. Are you kidding me? I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Right. Undo this would be fantastic. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. Undo these. Give my jet boots. Pirate. Only Star Lord, or Peter, or you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. <laughs> Peter. So listen, I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. <sighs> what's the bad news? Start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. Fair. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. That sounds about right. Can I swim? Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Huh. I mean, there's water down here, so I mean, at least I know the fire's not gonna get to me down here. Any day now. Well, if on. you took these handcuffs you off of me, I could probably go faster. Watch. Pipes must have burst. I'm just looking for other stuff. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need yeah. that. Yeah! I know what I'm doing. Now help That'd me probably be so we can get a better it. idea. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you going to help me or not? Yes, ma'am. Easy does it. I feel like... Mm. There, see? Part of me feels like that's not a great idea, but enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. You're I mean, she is. The officer as I've ever had. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> I see something. It's outfit, I think. Nova Lord outfit found. You know what? Let's let's fit in real quick. Hell yeah! I look cool. So, what did you make of the explosion back there? I saw as much as you did. 
Some Fair. Weird malfunction with the Grand Unifier ship. I guess they should have listened to him. It's crazy when that doesn't happen, isn't it? The blue for this outfit is really nice. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. He's so cute. It's, just, it's I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I program most of them. They gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Hold on, I'm not done looking around here. gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end for your yeah. information there's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away but out of respect for your authority I'm gonna you know ignore it and follow your lead yeah regulation 2b prisoners must stay close at all times you know I maybe then you should stop running away either. for me granted I was in prison but still so mom was right about you it was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. Bam. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? Do, do, do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's her. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of her job. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. I'm gonna go off in the opposite direction for a second. Cause I see stuff. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of yep. course you are. Sure are. Just making sure everything's safe. Excuse me. Yeah, could you please try to keep up? Hey, you hey. try walking around in cuffs. Yeah. What if I fall? A reminder that only one of us. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I I'm trust sure you. it is. Clearly. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasta. Uh, Jocasta. She an eye out for stuff. She's Invaders, adorable. Trespassers. Prisoners who keep wandering off. Get back here, pirate. Oh, oh my. Okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. I'm coming. Jeez. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. This is an anything. attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Sure. Oh wow! Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like you're. Oh, I love all the lights. I definitely prefer this to the. We're not staying. I just need to check on all Lame. Ultimo. These gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Yeah, please. I want to explore. Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort gotta wait. differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. There we go. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Let's see what else we got around here. 
Universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Huh. New Guardian collectible found. You found the broken translator device. Groot might have something interesting to say about it back on the Milano. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon <laughs> thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. I think I've gotten everything. Let me... I can't run, so... I'm not gonna go all the way back there, because that's gonna suck. Oh. Limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. Oh. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So <laughs> I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my past me. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Oh, dang, I thought that was something. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Oh. Almost there. Seriously? Oh no, no, take your Just time. Give me a sec. Take your time. Oh, you are on. so good. Oh. Better than you yelling at me oh. to hurry up. Are you kidding me? I think I need to go help her. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Huh? Oh! I can explain. Busted. Whoops. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with Whoops. criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Uh, uh, some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and hmm, recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Ranger yeah, Raker, that would be a good. Make him cooperate. And you two, with me. Yes, ma'am. Well, so much for saying nothing. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. For nope. what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Ouch. Why are you being mean to him? Yeah! Just listen to what he's saying. What I did I do? What he's saying. Upper level. Rude. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think yeah. you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in the elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? Uh, that was, was not person. where I was going, Someone where I thought that was gonna go. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. Oh. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. 
Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? Yep. 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Yeah. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. Oh! No. You empty your pockets. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You I hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know. Beep, bop, boop. Boop, boop, beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. Never. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, Woo. can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But Ouch. Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> Ouch. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. Chewbacca! I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Can I do both? Oh, um. 12 year old daughter, you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. Is it my kid? But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At Oops. All. You're still the same... I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles. Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Yikes. Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. Yeah. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Mm. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, come eh, on. Yeah, you I probably will. Ever. You won't regret it. Cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. Got and if we get the away, the device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Woo, prison! Gotcha. We won't let you down. Well, what the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 units? I mean... It's a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. Do we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's going to shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles? At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Fair. Come on, guys. 
You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? Yeah. And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? All of them. Seven. <laughs> you are Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. We're hella broke. Check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. Yeah. We can do this. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <laughs> they put bombs on my ship. My ship! All right, let's go look for some quarters. Through I our quarters. You, What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, it just take a moment. Rodents whore. Ah. Stolen technology, units. Beautiful. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. <sighs> I have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I, I don't, don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh. Built I ain't this lying. city now, on why don't you rock leave me alone and bother roll, someone built else instead? This city. I intend to. We built this city on rock and roll. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. I, I so, was actually gonna see. You here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Yeah, please. That would be fantastic. You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, Fair. Remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Catraxia, Nowhere, love. Paramitar, Ceres, Catraxia again, Malador. Okay, 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 so I owe okay, you so big. I should have turned you in for I'm going to wait till they start talking. Sure they stop talking, wouldn't but... be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Okay, so what I'm going to say real quick is that I love that as it was flipping back and forth between, like, Rocket and us, well, Rocket and Quill, the music was switching sides in my headphones. So if you're listening with this with headphones i hope you noticed it too or i hope it did it for you too because i thought that was pretty cool come on i i i would like updates if you <gasps> ask for a rubber ducky grenade i'm gonna bite your toes off uh, okay Oh. Let's see, how much do we got? 1400 Oh. Mm. You know what? I think we're going to go with this one. Ta-da! Hell yeah. You know what? We're gonna go with this one too. And it's to done. My guitars. This work is worth more than your work, Quill. Cause we're the simple fools. I apologize for my terrible singing. <laughs> Went through the soul. 
any units in here? I do remember we built this city? I think this is Rocket's room. Uh, where's the mamba? Hey, it's a thing. This thing looks so sinister. Hey, uh. who said you could touch that? My bad. Go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Yeah. yeah that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that check. You sound like a tour. <laughs> snore? That loud? <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. A totally. Spinal control thingy. Back on Half World, Cree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Poor Rocket. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a. What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line, that I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds. Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. If you're watching, water what break. I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence, and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency, and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quote. I hope you guys can see, uh, Rocket. Everything. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh, yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. And let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Man, I really feel for Rocket. Ooh, what's this? I think these things are like diaries, so. Alright, team costumes, Rocket. You want to know how much for these things? When I said matching gold costumes, I meant gold colored, not actual Kraken gold. 
<laughs> we want potential clients to think we got wealth, not wear it right on our sleeves. That makes us a target. Here's the deal. When the time's right, we'll give these costumes a test run. If they survive it without any holes, I'll settle, I'll settle up with you at, say, 6% of what you're asking. Best I can do. They look flarkin' amazing, by the way. These are awesome. I really hope that the way I'm doing stuff over here, you guys can see everything because, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'd feel bad if you guys can't see anything here on TikTok, so. Alright, uh, this is our room. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and... Uh... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um... Whoops. ...was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird and I was the kid. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me get this straight. Yondu Danta, leader of the Ravager space virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Chitari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu do my... Space dad? There he goes. Could have been worse. Microphone started coming out. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? There we go. <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Okay. Well, well, well. 
Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. Good job, Drax. We intend you to map. keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. Reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Set course for the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic ma Guys! Let's just... hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after him. Skulls. Hunters were pale in its fangs. Imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. Well, in that case. You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should. Combine both ideas. I mean, that's not Sell a terrible Dolores idea. Tickets to fin fang Foom. It is brilliant. <laughs> you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh yeah. You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy. Filled with rage. Yeah, but he talks a lot. Such a creature. Really? How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? I gotta go with Groot. Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into it. You say the weather patterns Why not? Sagnarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Nah. I think it looks just as bad as what it is. <laughs> Walk serious. a little what? bit. This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. Yeah. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. 
All right, Next here time, we go. I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? No. Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now? Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des. <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. I go in here. Happy? Check out Groot's room. Whoa. Glad Corel didn't find that on top of the space llama. Right. Thought I saw something else in here. I Just still believe on. it is a mistake to sell the tree. Right. Huh, yeah, that's right. Maybe you're the mistake, musclehead. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, Dang. you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. Oh, okay. Do you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. Ugh. I am Groot. I mean, he's got you a point. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> he sounds like an actual TV raccoon. TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. <laughs> Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. Right? Who knows? If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download Ooh. it somehow or hack it or I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice Aww. to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am awesome. Cool. Cool, cool. I hope y'all uh... like walking because this is gonna take a while. Well, you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Chill. Yeah. Rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky crack. <laughs> Calm down yourself. Oh. You love rain. Watch the plant. I was hoping there would be something to do in here. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. 
It's different. Hold on, just a moment to appreciate the sounds of the rain coming down, which is fantastic. Uh, on nice, warm, and of course, Rocket ice. has to ruin it. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Drax, buddy. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Thanks. Of course. It had to be raining. Alright, let's boo boo. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Keep an eye out for stuff. Merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, I'm trying to keep an eye out for we ain't outfits and stuff. Through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Yeah. To be fair. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. I agree. We got this. It's still falling, we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady of Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting hit. Whoa! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Uh, that was just some lightning, Drax. I don't think. So we're still doing this. Yes! I don't think that was actually her doing that, but I mean, who knows? <laughs> Guys, focus. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. Ah, shit! I jumped right as the wind started going. Okay. No, god damn it. There we go. What why? Good lord. Yeah, I'm down with that too. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keyword live. Woo! Oh goodness. Well, <laughs> cutscene. So I'm assuming that was supposed to happen. Should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. A gelatinous cube. Eh, not sure. Well, I don't like that. Now. I would be wary of it. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some of those. Oh! He's not alone. Get ready! Whoa! 
Why am I not? Jelly can be on the offensive. There we go. Come on, Rocket. It's just soaking up everything we throw at it. Stay away from its sharp edges. Whoa, right into it. My hands are filled with jelly. Yet the creature lives. The enemy groups persistent. The jelly is charging. You know what? Let's try Gamora at that thing. There we go. So that's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going oh, to the I was hoping there'd be a thing up there. There we go. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it right now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I he does. It apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. What is that noise? Lower that wing somehow. I'm going to get ahead. You kill yourself on the way up. There they are. Oh, wing here we controls. go. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel is all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone, watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Oh. There we go. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like Lady Island. No, turn around. What did I find? Oh, one of these things. Okay. Collateral damage. Boss goal. The war rages between resistant forces and the vile Shatari. We've engaged them throughout the Seknar system with the cool with the costliest battle taking place in our orbit of Seknar. Nine. We've already seen the Chitari landing on the planet's surface, which makes us rethink our beliefs that it is a neutral world, or maybe the Monster Queen fights her own resistance below. If we ever intended to find an alliance here, we've long since ru ruined our chances by pelting her world with downed ships, not just, to talk, not just Chitari. We've already lost half of our own fleet. It must look like the heavens are raining down fire from there. There are no winners in this conflict, only death. 
We are waiting for the inevitable retreat orders. We cannot win this battle. I'm not even certain we can win this war. Just looking for stuff. Ooh. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Lore. Paw prints. Hold on, I wasn't done reading that. Unknown quad quadruped imprint. Caution advised. Hey, look what you with claws the size of drags. Let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Oh, I don't know what that was. I didn't like that noise in my ear hole. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. I better be careful or I'm gonna get stuck again. Okay, maybe excluding brute. Ooh, mysterious. Found something quilt. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Oh wow, that sounded really close in my ear. Looking around. Not getting lost. Ah! I'm accidentally setting off a fucking cutscene. further proof that we are not welcome. If we turn back every time we have won. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. I just Alright. I was I'm not in doubt, I'm just looking. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. Can you get us through here tomorrow? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Okay, hold on. Before we go any further, let's go back down here. Go to that hole. Uh, past all the things that make creepy noises in my ears. Oh, I can go in here. One creature. What did yours look like? Nice try. Are they following me? Nope. Okay. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Yoink. Hell yeah, give me those. Are they following me? I found this small, hairy, no, I think they're... Okay. <laughs> it's a hand. It's two hands. Okay. I keep trying to reload and I don't need to reload. Hello. All righty. Oh, <gasps> yes, exactly what I'm looking for. What we got? Gamora, Guardians of the Galaxy 2014. Okay, cool. Hey, more stuff. Ooh. Okay, now I'm really hoping I don't get lost. Do do do. Okay, this is where I was. So I think. Hold on. <laughs> Are you frightened, rodent? All right, there's nothing else in here. I don't think. 
yeah, I can't get up there, so. Oh, I don't like that noise. Okay. So we will head back towards everybody else. Yep. Whee! Okay. Oh, come on. Get up there. I don't like that noise in my ear. Makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like it. Oh, wait. Hell yeah, let's give her a new outfit. Give you a second to pause and read that, and continue. This place is a Clark and Maze. All those trees look like like giant strings of saltwater taffy. Yeah. Oh. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. We'll need to yeah. find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's delicious. Try that here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. Can I get up there? Probably not. Patience is a virtue, the hunter. Nope. Okay. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's. Uh. Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. Looks no, like it. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to throw a throw rocket? So hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me. We're not Put him down. Rocket. Very well. You sons of fortune gods. How will we cross? <laughs> Look around. We'll find another way. I don't want to miss anything, so pardon me while I explore. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. There has to be something we can use. Oh. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. Groot can grow. What's Chitauri Tech doing on a backwater mudfall like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? Yeah. We still have three. No one's throwing rocks. Yeah, please don't. Oh my. Oh, the statues are not watching us. I don't think we need to look that far, Peter. I know, I know. I just got turned around. Turned around. No, I didn't. Towering in fear from Lady Helbender. Huh. I didn't get turned know? around. I was exploring and looking for stuff to make us look more badass. That's the wrong way.
Oh, can I not? Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter. I do. God, come on. Drop a Rooney down here. Okay. Can I go in here or do I need rocket? Nope, I can go in here. Okay. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll hear it when I scream like a little bitch. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Yeah, I got a reason for why I do the things I do. Nope, I just came that way. Mm. Hey, I found more ruins down here. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rockets. Maybe there's something else here. Come on. <sighs> Nothing. Um. Oof. Sorry. Ah, uh, this thing is complete trash now. <laughs> Um... Oh, here Such we go. An idiot. I've got my visor. Oh. Rax, think you can topple this? Indeed. A miracle oh. it's still standing in these storms. Okay, so I was right. I just didn't know Drax could get through there. Bam! I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. All right. Of course we are. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? Boys oh. up, people. In the oh. Ring. Yes, I know we're in a fight. Mobilize them. Hell yeah. And ready. You fools unworthy! Oh, shit. Um... 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 Bam. Peter! I'll enjoy this! Hell yeah! Um Rocket, Rocket. throw something at it. Yeah, so come on. So um Come on. Trying to get group to Watch the stingers. What the hell? Oh god, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. Good lord. Let us finish this! This battle was satisfactory! 
Hell yeah, there we go. Surface way to the galaxy. These things would have come in handy a second ago. I don't think we have to fight them on their feet. There we go. I yearn for money. Woo! Oh yeah, I've got an ability point to use. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. Somewhere. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, come on. Research this way. Fifty units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. I seven doubt strides. that. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector Nine. <laughs> that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Can I get on the arm? Ow. I can totally do that. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. I hate all the weird noises in my ear. Gamora, Gamora please. They say that Lady Hellbender feels you every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Okay. The old Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold? Fear. No. Just making someone else to cross the death pit first. Me, Bruno, the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Any just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. All right, I'm going to pause here real quick, and I'm going to run to the restroom. So, potty break for anybody that needs one.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. You know what, Tanny? You come here. Okay. See, All it's right, we're back. Fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. It's true, there are. Easy does it. Hold on, I'm gonna pause here again real quick because I wanna check something. Trying to see if I could see. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to see real quick. Hold on. Sorry, I'll be it'll just a moment. <laughs> My other one. There we go. Did they take away? Oh, there it is. Yes, hi, Sky. Okay, that did work. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, sorry. What is your issue? The brute says there's something what? down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Come here. Sorry, the biggest baby of the family suddenly needs attention. Sky Harley. Oh, well. I thought it was gonna have me hit X a bunch of times. Or, like, before. Come in. Or not. That works, too.
Oh, now you want to come over. Of course, now all of a sudden it wants to... Okay. There we go. Sky, can you move your big booty? <laughs> You're just gonna lay in the most weird way. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Bam. Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used Sky. to Sky. You suddenly need attention now. More jellies! Yeah. I got it. Oh. Oh my. Guys, anyone know what that is? Um. That's a thing. Monster. Ah! Damn it, Drax. Health markers. Some enemies have multiple health bars, as indicated by markers above the gauge. Cool. Um. Um, Gamora. me hardcore Active, a call to action prompt may appear during combat. Press it to trigger a special guardian attack. Successful calls to actions will leave enemies crippled. Sweet. Oh. Where are you going, Gimpy? Cowardly beast! Finish the battle! Oh, we made it mad. We took its tail. Aw, Stumpy's running away. <laughs> Stumpy. That its tail between its legs. Ooh. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone I mean, tell you you're scary. Yes. I mean, I don't think it's pointless. Way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? Good question. What is that? Can I get close enough down here? Oh, okay. There's stuff up there. Maybe this hell exactly what I thought. I wouldn't I don't think I'm I'm not I don't have enough boost to get up there just yet will you stop calling it that what do you think made this place worth fighting over maybe it wasn't maybe the ship we seen got taken down by the storms you think this place was like a secret base could be 
Very mill could be a secret base. Oh hey. Let's see what we got. Let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. I already have that. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab this too. There you go. I think that's all I can do though. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah. Right. Um If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should uh, you know, lighten their pockets. I'm starting to wonder if I should be the one with the fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodents' lies. Hey Gamora. No? Gamora, please? I think I need to go back down here. Say, I got some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Nova Corps rocket? More like run fronts. <laughs> These things could turn on a dime. It's meant for getting in close to dreadnoughts, but also makes them hard to shake. Wiring. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. First a down resistance ship, now a Nova Corps. Oh, that's what I tried to do. Oh, they didn't want me to do that earlier. What is taking so long? Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Yeah. You see anything useful up there? Huh. I wonder about that wing cable. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. Bam. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Place here. Got it, Drax. This... Unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes, that is why I can easily carry this great weight. I see. Hell yeah. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Uh... Wonder if I can get down there. Peter, try jumping. There goes nothing. Oh, bam. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Did it sound like I died? I'm alive. Are you in need of Ooh. assistance, Peter Quill? What is that? All right, I'll figure it out. Looks like some sort of handcuffs. Hey, you think he stopped? New Guardian collectible found. You found the Tatari oh, oh. seer cuffs. Okay, yeah, so I was right. So they are handcuffs. I go next. Oh, here we go. Hey, Gamora, could you pull me over? What if you had your sword in the crack? Are you sure about that? Look, I know, I know. Don't get used to it. But I really need you. Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is that sounded good? so bad. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We. We made a deal. You can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Oh, we wait. Get to the top of the ship now? What? Oh, I'm I supposed to go up that way. This planet is no place for carrying. You got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface with some crap. Oh. I think I went the wrong way. Hold on. Let's have Drax hey, move. Lift that thing up. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff. You know what? Never mind. Hold on. <laughs> 
environment's too damp. There you go, bud. So maybe they are plant food. Okay, so that takes me there, but like At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collector. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. Just saying it couldn't take this long to get there. I feel lost. I am being constructed. This is how I motivate. Well, it's clearly working. <laughs> Where do I go next? Because this is the only other way to go, but this doesn't lead me anywhere. I think that's just showing me the... Yeah. Okay, so it has to be that. Hold that for me, bud. Aha. Real good right here. Shall be done. Are we sure we want to go back up? What next, Peter Quill? Groot, is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Can you get up there now? It should only take a second. Ah, there we go. This brings back memories. There we go. That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. <laughs> Off the grid. After Xandar's fall, I, be I begged the world mind to reach out to the remote worlds, any of them, to try and bolster our chances against the Chitauri. They wouldn't hear it. Told me to get back to my assignment, picking up the pieces instead of preparing for more destruction. They insist we'll only drag more potential enemies into the war and make things worse, but Xandar's, but Xandar's gone. Sliced like a ripe dem drum fruit. Could, what could be worse? So I took my uniform, stole a ship, and fled. I have decided, or I've dedicated my life to the Nova Corps. Le leaving them goes against everything I stand for, but I have to do something. We all do. I'm headed towards Seknarf 9, where a powerful monster queen rules. Her planet is right in the projected path of the Chitari advance, so maybe I can convince her to act before it's too late. Maybe we can even make an alliance. We all need the fr we, we need all the friends we can get. Seknarf was such a hot spot for the war. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that for sure. <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Hold on. Been distracted up to now? I getting stuff. If he calls us over, I'm done. Well, you gotta see this ship. The old Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. Looks like there's a way down here. We okay, here we go. Ah shit. Right into oh, slimy. Uh guys. You might want to wait to come down here. That worked. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Some smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Oh no! Like what? Oh, Clark. Uh, 
Quill. I don't like this. What the hell? Well, that worked. What did you just do? Sorcery. Stuff? So Somebody get him out of there! Oh, poor Rocket. Mind telling us what happened? I don't know. My blast is a... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you get a little scut like this. Just go do Just leave the let guns me, alone. Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. My equivalent of the next guy is some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Can I do that again? Oh, here we go. Press... Oh, to equip the ice shield. Hold R1. It's an ice cube! Have fun! We're so happy for you and your guns! Behold our conquest, ladies and gentlemen! Keep here, you souls for brains! Whoa! There's so many of them. It is too far from the ground. Um. Come oh, on, I bet fella. I know. Let me get a look at them guns. No, you're not tinkering with my only means of defense. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. 
Hello? The Atari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you do. You're right, I do. And I always <laughs> wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. See, oh, when are you ever going to get another chance? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just going to reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about How about we don't blow it up? It. Too late. A path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes. Their heads are ridiculous. Still can't get over Quill's crazy friggin' guns. No, I'm not jealous. I'm just saying that if anyone on this team should have crazy. Oh man, another murder tentacle. Careful, it might be playing dead. Why does it not attack? Perhaps it is dead. Poke it and find out. Very well. Hang on, what if it's sleeping? We don't want to wake it up. Yeah, must be a whole lot of hideous on the other end of that thing. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I have changed my mind. Quill's ice cube machines? They are versatile. Maybe. But my sweet death cannon still got seven. Oh. Whoa. Guess what? It's not dead. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? Right. This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Must be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Like we always do. What are you doing, Wedge? Why are you touching me? I'm glad we know where we're going, but this road's got more holes than a Misratian tree. There wouldn't be so many gaps to cross if the bridges were extended. Oh, I don't know if I can get up there. Nope. Okay. Whoa! Dang it. I saw it just before I dropped. Back up there I go. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Haha! There we go. Wants to know how Quill's guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? He won't let me take him apart to find out. I'm gonna say bridge. No, no, no. Scratch that. Tiny dimensional bridge. Perhaps it's magical. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we 
Damn right. Yeah, just you know, turning water into ice. Go off. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? I think I can see my house from here. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh Need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Um. We'll take your word for it, Mike. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is like supercharged with plant. Give him a little bit of a buzz just walking on. Oh, that's the last thing we need is Groot high or drunk. Um, is that just everything over here? Let's see what this has to say. Shelter sculpture. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume. I if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of the prey. Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like skulls. Their garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Quill is that um. one covered already. Alright, I think I got everything that I can get. Can I not? I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. Should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously bruised. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You think it died of excessive bruising? I bruised it as well. Things making a very interesting noise. Oh. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Not talking. <gasps> Not even breathing. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? It is said that Anyone she... Anyone but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrifying. I think oh. the smell's coming from that wall here. Drax can hurl. Yep. Okay. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will be nervous. That is disturbingly fragrant. Nope. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Mm. Hello? Anybody? I don't like the look of that. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster to food? Taste, the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. 
We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Ed, two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leader. Oh, Groot. Hey, look, it's Stumpy. Oh, shit. Oh shit. That was a total miss, but okay. <laughs> Woo! You are coming with me. Hell yeah. Convenient. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! <laughs> you hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, <laughs> really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love you. Hell yeah, stuff. Oh, Sucknarf ain't never heard of roads. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Hell yeah! They deserve it. What we got? Sucknarf 9 is a sanctuary. <gasps> yes! Five Horsemen of the Apocalypse outfit found. Oh, yes, this will make Groot look like a monster. Hell yeah. 
He looks so cool now. Not like he didn't look cool before. That can't be true. Hell yeah. Oh, he looks so cool now. Not that he didn't look cool before. Whoa. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well. Better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Eight? We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well. She's gonna be our business partner. It's yeah. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? Whoa, that is definitely my yeah, top you ten. Yeah, you being is exactly the problem. Oh. Flark, you said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Sorry, and Sky. Money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing <sighs> our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. <laughs> no, it ain't. What did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. Let's just get this done. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Oh. Okay, then. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flocking infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark and things looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. No, Drax, see. We're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly, the rodent is I the one. I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. <laughs> because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I'm sorry, but Rocket just I talks hope Lady too much Elvira shit. Is as gullible as you expect she. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I agree. Not bad. I am rude. Adorable. Okay, here we go. Can I drop this thing? 
Nope. Can only move forward. Rocket has soothing tones. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. I come in a cut scene now. Is please stop the name of your oh, song? Oh nope, no. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? Why does that thing look so small right now? Like, there's no way Groot is in there comfortably. There is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 oh. clicks. 0 0.6 Now we're in a cutscene. I think we're about to go back. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. Augments. Right. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna bother looking all over again. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can Ooh. remember. Hey, a bathroom. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Go, go, go! We'll make our stand. Don't give a damn. This is our time to go from zero to hero. A man on the run. He's a ghost. He is no one. I love this basement setup. I do. I absolutely love this house setup. Well, at least the basement so far. Well, well, well. Look who decided to finally come up. I Here's followed you. Drink. I warned you. No, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, slowpoke. Nice! Pac-Man! Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends! Someone's uh. gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling Mom. off. Mom. <laughs> What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I'd want you to see that, Peter. I... 
let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity. Like, butts and stuff. <laughs> You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were... Standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. Why not? I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Hell yeah. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty oh. bucks. <laughs> Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Oh, yes, mom. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Yeah. Hansel Sting is from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Ah, <gasps> puppy! Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Oh. He's so sad. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Oh. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I love this house setup. <laughs> Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Oh, that was a nice bathroom. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. <laughs> Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. A tractor? Lots of cornfields. Don't like that. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Aw, his grandma made that. Okay. Oops. 
Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Oh. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? The sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Ah, mm. oh, bay windows. Ah, oh, love them. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? No, turn around. Back to the present. And that's where we're going to leave that today. Um, I have had lots of fun doing this. Um, I won't be on tomorrow, but I will be on Wednesday. Not for as long, because I don't have as long Wednesday to do it. And then possibly Friday, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so I will see you guys next time. All right, have a good one. Bye!